So your comedy special was so good, you filmed it in Chicago. I did. You know that's my hometown. I know. Yes. I thought you would be proud of me. Chicago, girl, I want to hear all about that. Why Chicago? So I uh, I got married in the uh, thick of the pandemic, mm -hmm. and uh, mm, congratulations! Thank you. I appreciate that. Nice. Um, and I met my now wife in Chicago. Uh, mm -hmm. We met seven years ago at Gay Pride in Chicago. Which really? Is, yeah. Ooh, that's how extra fun. Yeah, because you know Pride in Chicago is huge. It's, it is. It's so popular and fun. So I went there, and we we randomly met. And my first special, I talked a lot about. Uh, growing up and finding myself and figuring out who I was. So I shot that in North Carolina because that's where I'm from. Uh, so I continued that narrative of like being an adult. I talk about uh, getting engaged and getting married and it just felt like a nice um, sort of, uh, I don't know, personal touch having it be in Chicago it's because that's game. where I met uh, my wife and, and I wanted to that's beautiful. Yeah, celebrate that. I love it. Yeah, and Chicago also is such an awesome city. It's an awesome city. Come on. That's my hometown. Okay, and you filmed it in a theater. What was that like? Yeah, I filmed it at the Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Mm -hmm. Out there on Navy Pier. Um, and it was, it was amazing, because I, I really love storytelling. Mm -hmm. I, I tell longer stories. I like to take people on a journey. And I just think theaters are such a beautiful place to do that. Because, you know, in a comedy club, they're like, nachos, you know? like. <laughs> Asking for more ketchup, and it's you're you're just like shouting over people eating sliders. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. In a theater, it just it, it's a, a good place to be able to tell those longer stories and connect. I gotta know, how did you propose? Well, I'll tell you this: the movies make it look very romantic <laughs> and very easy, and unless you have a team of producers to do it, it does not always go as planned. <laughs> because I wanted it to look like you know it did in The Bachelor with like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, candles and rose petals and all that stuff. Uh -huh. And it, it went awry. We walked in the room, it looked like a crime scene. It was weirdly lit with rose petals like everywhere, but just like very chaotic. Like someone opened the door and a bunch of stuff flew in the room and <laughs> somebody got a leaf blower and blew it around. Because <laughs> when you guys think of roses what and romance, what color do you think of? I think of red. Red, yeah. right. Well, these were white rose petals and half dead. And I, I, I Googled what do white roses stand for. It's chastity, in case you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, yeah, it just, everything like, went awry. Like, the chocolate-covered strawberries were put right in front of a, a roaring fireplace. And they melted? Melted, the champagne on ice melted, and it, I, yeah, my, 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 well, then fiance had no idea I was about to propose, because it was not a very romantic situation. Oh, God. So I ended up just, I forgot to get on my knee. I just, like, blurted out, you wanna? And, <laughs> Thankfully, she said she yes. got it. She said yes. Really, she yes. got it. She did say yes. Oh my God! But it, yeah, she thankfully said yes, and yeah, two years later we've been married now. Two years later, congratulations. Thank you.